Bueno is Nachos and welcome back to the channel. So on today's episode, we're gonna be installing the N64 Digital and we're gonna be installing it in our Nintendo 64 that we previously recapped and cleaned. Without further ado, let's begin. All right, so we have our Nintendo 64 completely disassembled and the first thing on the agenda will be the RGB flex, which is this right here. And what I like to do is pre-tin the solder points. So we'll begin by adding some flux and then we'll add some solder. So it's a total of six pads that we need to pre-tin We've pre-tinned and added flux to our solder points. Now we're going to go ahead and add the ribbon, or flex as it is known. Apply a little bit more solder to these points. We'll go ahead and clean this up since we're not going to be coming back to this area. Now we'll go ahead and fold this flex. There is a line indicating where it needs to be folded. And there we are. We'll be installing the larger flat ribbon, which of course would be this right here. As for where it gets installed, uh, it'll be on the 160 pin IC, which I believe to be this big one right here. Yep, that is correct. We can edit all that stuff out. All right, so I'm gonna begin by adding some flux to the pins, and we're gonna go over all the legs with some ROHS compliant solder. So let me bring out my bag of goodies. So here we are, some Kester branded lead-free rosin core. You probably can't see that, but that's what it is. So we'll go ahead and pre-tin the legs. Just take it a little bit further than I need to. And there we have it, and that's looking pretty good from what I can tell. I'm gonna be switching my soldering iron tip to something that's a little bit better suited for this type of work. And that should be good enough for now, just to tack it down. So now that we have that soldered down, or at least tacked down temporarily, we'll add just a little bit more flux. That looks like a lot, but what can you do? And then we will resume with our ROHS compliant solder and I'll hold this down with some tweezers. We're gonna make this look nice, but for now I wanna just make sure everything is uh, wet with solder. I'll tell you, having this microscope really helps. Is that just a little bit too much solder there? And I still have a little too much solder apparently. Other than this solder point right here, looking a little strange. Yeah, what is that? It's like a divot in there or something. And maybe one other one over there. They all look fine aside that one and another one that I'll touch up. All right, I'd say that looks pretty good. Go ahead and clean this up. Get our can of compressed air. Do a little bit more cleaning, but with the finer brush. That way we can really get into those crevice eye. Now that is looking clean, ladies and gentlemen. Next, 
Well, I don't know what's next. All right, let me see. We'll be installing that over here. We'll begin by, of course, pre-tinning and adding some solder to those areas, and that'll be our usual leaded solder. And I see no reason to swap out tips at the moment. Just add a tiny bit of solder to each one of the legs that we're gonna be soldering. I said a tiny bit. That's not a tiny bit. Unfortunately, I have to use some desoldering wick for that. There we go. And this, of course, will go to the second legs on each side. And by that, I mean we'll be starting with the second leg per each side. See if we can tack this down somehow. Guess what I can do is I can start by having this tilted a little bit. And we'll do the same over here on the bottom. really difficult to get into this side. There we are. Let's go ahead and make sure all of these have a solid connection. Yeah, it looks like we need a little bit more solder. It's a lot of solder, but uh, I guess that's gonna be okay. And who knew that wouldn't happen, right? I think I'm gonna have to add some flux to that just to make it look decent. Right now, it doesn't look too good. It's really strange how that side looks right there, but it is connected. Probably ought to add just a little bit more solder. That's better. How is the other side looking? Looks like it could use more solder. And this guy over here. Perfect. We'll go ahead and clean this up and then attach the center piece over here. So we'll go ahead and add our solder and our flux here. Go ahead and add a little bit of solder to that leg. We're ready to put this back in the console and see how it's running. We've already confirmed that we do not have a short to ground on our 3.3 volt line. That looks like we're all good. All right, so we've successfully completed the installation of the N64 Digital into this N64 console. We've effectively brought this console into the modern age by installing an HDMI mod. If you enjoyed this video, enjoyed the content, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Till next time.